Okay, somehow I didn't resume let's see my uh, other video, so I just had to start another one. But I got my shirt, and I will display it proudly. Created in God's image in abortion now, God forms us in our mother's womb past SB 13. God chose to be his entrance into our world. The incarnation of Christ thus stands in our Killing a baby is no way to plan parenthood. Okay, read one like that earlier. And then this sign right here is basically, no, that ain't what I got on my shirt. There was another shirt that had that on it though, but I didn't get that one. Choice of music. That one says if abortion is not murder, there is no such thing as murder. Freethestates.com. like that one. The uh, Supreme Court is not God. <laughs> it's a bit cold out here. I don't feel like putting my bag down to get my gloves and my hat out. Phone's probably going to end up going dead on me here soon. Hey guy, hey you reading this, what if you were aborted? <laughs> and then that deal that he's holding, I got one of them in my back pocket. I like what it shows on the back. Oh, get, obey God, not the law or something like that when it comes to uh, so, something around, something along them lines as far as abortion is concerned. Which it ain't a law that you have to have an abortion, but <laughs> give it time and almost I could see it almost being at some point. <laughs> Repent of your apathy. Abortion is murder, 3,500 a day, 55 million since 1973, two every minute. Abolish human abortion. The human being pictured alone was aborted in the second trimester. Something or rather. I can't read the last couple of words.
Let yours live. One of the life. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know why they hit me so hard right there for Created in the image of God, destroyed on our watch. Wow. Which of these two human beings was conceived in rape? I'm sorry. Which of these children does not have the right to live? Even if you could tell the difference, do you think children should be sentenced to death for the crimes of their fathers? Rape and abortion are wrong for the same reason. They are both violent acts of aggression against other people's bodies. Punish the rapist, not the child. Women who are raped ought to be cared for, not deceived into believing that murdering their children will alleviate their pain or bring about justice. Senate Bill 13, the abolition of abortion in the Oklahoma Act, does not sanction the murder of children conceived in rape. It establishes equal protection and justice for all human beings. Again, it says, created in the image of God, destroyed on our watch. Well, that sure is the truth. Duty is ours, results, ah, sorry. see, results belong to God, created in the image of God, murdered in the place of the incarnation. Huh. There is forgiveness for the sin of abortion, and you can have a new life in Christ. body inside your body is not your body. Abolish human abortion. Let's see. I got this deal in my back pocket. Let's see. I like what it said. Obey God, not the court. Let's see here. Unconditional submission to the Supreme Court is idolatry. Senate Bill 13. Oh, let's see. Obey God, not man. Senate Bill 13 and abolishing abortion in Oklahoma. Establish justice, love, mercy. See?
cease to do evil. See, cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fearless, plead the widow's cause. Isaiah 117. Woe to those who decree iniquities, decrees, or women, iniquitous decrees, and the writers who keep writing oppression to turn aside the needy from justice and to be and to rob the poor of my people of their right, that widows may be their spoil, and that they may make the fatherless their prey. Isaiah 10, 1 through 2. got 10% left on my battery so I'm gonna have to go ahead and end this video now but well y'all get the basic point of everything anyway love you my church family my brothers and sisters and uh, you can always go on the website uh, freethestates.com I'm not sure what you can do there but I'm sure from there you can figure out how to sign the uh, sign the bill to abolish the Supreme Court rules that black people first. are inferior beings and have no rights as citizens, that they are property, not persons, that runaway slaves must be returned to their masters, and that chattel slavery will never be abolished. A small number of Christians ignore the court's ruling, choose to love their neighbors as themselves, and help slaves escape to freedom while they call for total and immediate abolition. For decades, abolitionists have argued that slavery is sin, that it is inconsistent with the Declaration of Independence, that it is not only wrong, but that the way it has been opposed has been profoundly inadequate. Abolitionists put slavery on trial in the court of public opinion. More and more people begin defying the Federal Fugitive Slave Act, and though the nation refuses to repent, the necessity of abolition becomes a reality. 